here to talk to you in the setting of the collegiate athletic department. I'm going to talk today about how leaders, not all leaders are, leaders are managers, and not all managers are leaders. My challenge to you, my question to you guys is, are you guys leaders of your program, and can you uh, bring some more leadership qualities? Can you be more effective in your environment? And I'm going to do it with the Integrative Motivation Program and give three suggestions at the end as to how I can do it. Uh, from, from the preview, those are my six steps I'm going to go through. Um, goals, ability to perform, reinforcement, salience, equity, and timeliness. First off, the goals of the Integrative Motivation Program. Uh, I start off with a quote uh, from my interviewee. He says, I always have to be one step ahead. My projects have to be done on the boss's desk by the start of our next project. So you kind of have to be on the ball and on top of things in this organization. And that's one of his goals is to be ahead of the game and uh, to add some things early so we can be as detailed oriented as we possibly can. And another quote is, yes, I believe all my goals are SMART goals. I never thought of it in that aspect. And uh, whether they were attainable or not, uh, the bosses just kind of gave them the goals. Uh, the, these are huge in scheduling practices and being the most efficient as you possibly can and explaining film preparation. So, ability to perform. Sometimes the availability makes my job very difficult to perform. You know, uh, a lot of times there will be games beforehand that you have to wait on and uh, wait, wait your turn to be able to, to get the most information to make the most effective uh, approach to every game. And that's what uh, my interviewee would do. And also you have to rely on others, uh, rely on other coaches, uh, you have to rely on uh, outside people to bring you information to make the most uh, the most effective decision for for your program, as well as um, his experience as a lower level worker. Um, he he had some years here before, and he knows kind of the culture uh, aspect that we talked about in the book, uh, the social norms. He was able to implement those right away because of his experience. And uh, Brian Hahn. Uh, the high school coach of Thompson Heights High School talked about the importance of hard work in the ability to perform. Uh, how, how much time are you willing to bring to the table in your preparation? Reinforcement. Rewards are exhibited when I see the other employees take my information, I convey to them, and they gain success from it. So the information that he provides uh, the lower level employees and sees their success and their excitement is rewarding for him. Um, there's a strong correlation of job performance and outcomes, and he's really focused on uh, outcomes and uh, goal goal achievement, as, as well as uh, strongly influenced by the boss. The boss kind of pressures them all to uh, be on time, and like I said earlier about the projects that need to be done beforehand. Salience, winning and losing, that's it. He talked about the how he hated to lose. He talked about uh, the the goals of, of winning each and every day, each and every drill. Uh, he, he's able to provide, to provide those things for his employees, and, and that's how uh, his job becomes effective. He also impacts people around him. Uh, that, that, that's a salience, that's a thing that he uh, takes pride in. He, uh, that's another reward of, of the job that he, that he uh, looks forward to each and every day. And he works to people please, which is a, a thing that I will address earlier with the recommendation. Equity. In my job, their successes and failures are not magnified. He talked about um, how the head coach gets, you know, all the all the credibility, and he also gets, you know, all the snipes from all the all the fans and uh, all the outsiders. Uh, he his his job isn't magnified. He feels like he likes to be that guy behind the scenes that makes things work, and um, he doesn't need to get all the limelight. And he also doesn't feel like he likes to uh, observe or take on all of that hatred from um, outsiders. Also, he's able to do things he enjoys, such as uh, travel time, time for family, and people are fantastic. He loves working in the environment. He feels like it's equal across the playing ground. Lastly, uh, timeliness. Uh, they give job performance reports annually. Uh, constant dialogue and feedback. He has uh, quick, brief meetings before every day, and uh, that's something I'm going to address with my recommendations as well. And uh, the film stink story, you know, uh, in the organization I was able to be there long enough to experience uh, the timeliness of it all. So uh, there's a game coming up and one of the assistant coaches needed to film as quickly as possible. 
Well, and well, uh, the coach had to deliver that information as, as quickly as possible, and the video quality wasn't as well. And the uh, assistant coach told him that the film stinks and that the quality was not able for him to view that. And that's uh, an example of the timeliness factor of how he must get the film to the coaches as quickly as possible. Recommendation one goes back to the goals of the integrative motivation program. How, how scheduling is difficult. His job is uh, to effectively uh, manage the team so it can succeed. It's not necessarily uh, the goal to just deliver the film, but the big picture, um, view, viewing the goals as attainable. Recommendation two, salience. He's kind of a people pleaser. You know, uh, He needs to look at the big picture. Um, he needs to look at the goal, the, the uh, unified goal of one, having one common goal of succeeding and winning. Recommendation three. Uh, the timeliness, he needs to have uh, questions to these quick brief meetings. Uh, he needs to get the most out of them, uh, address the assistant coaches, you know, uh, what kind of film are you looking for? Uh, the, those type of things need to be addressed in these meetings and not so much so that they're uh, just a waste of time. And many times, uh, many times problems uh, run into that when, when you ask these questions. So the review is the six steps. Goals, ability to perform, reinforcement, salience, equity, and timeliness. And I gave my three recommendations. So it's your choice. Are you excited to see if these recommendations are